Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the Group P Round 2 match between Niagara and his Wood Elves. He's just won the toss and chosen to receive up against Dion Lord and his undead team. Unpainted undead team, very sad. Um, I can tell you a little bit about the coaches, um, if you bear with me. Niagara is Swedish and qualified through BBT, the big crunch playoff, which is why his team is called something to do with BBT. Um, and Dion Lord is Italian and qualified through the DHN League, uh, Rookie Mugel 3. So there you go. Um, I know Dion Lord's been high rated on tabletop in the past, and uh, Niagara is a Chalice regular. I can also show you the table as it stands. So, um, both Diomlord and Niaga won their first round. If Diomlord wins this game, he might still not qualify. If Niaga wins, he's definitely qualified. Obviously, whoever wins is going to have a really good chance. And they might both uh, qualify TBH. So, we've got a big line here for Diomlord. It looks like there's some kind of... Um, weather as well. Sweltering heat. Ooh... Sweltering heat. Flip me. So that does favour the undead, right? Because they've got two reserves. Whereas the woodies don't. Oh, BB Tactics Butterfly. And they're all different kinds of butterflies. Wonderful. I thought that said Rear Admiral then. <laughs> right. so, he's, he's taken a double for Mighty Blow. I'm not really a fan of giving up the uh, the skills for that, but fair enough. Leader, thrower, some dodge, wrestle, and a uh, stripper. Gets the catch attempt, but doesn't make it. So yeah, so to get the mighty blow, he's given up sidestep on the dancer and wrestle on a lineman. But apart from that, it's a pretty standard wood elf build. And the undead is somewhat standard. He's gone max, well, not max guard. No, not many people go four guard. He's got a three guard and a mighty blow, a block, and a sure hands. Uh, of course, they, they all go 13. They all pick this like roster right for the players. Pretty much four ghouls, 13 players, three rerolls. I, I feel like undead are bad against the DACA, right? That's my thoughts, because uh, mummies are really slow, and they have mighty blow, so by running away, you're really limiting the mummies. So I really like Dakaring versus Undead. <laughs> they do roll snake eyes when rushing, yeah. Flip me, what a, what a crazy... Crazy game that was earlier. Wait, Dimmy G is a woody man? I don't think you are a woody man, Dimmy. Hello, I'm gonna tap. And everybody else I haven't said hello to. Wow. You would think the Lord would have a plan against the uh, Dakar. I wonder how how uh, prevalent the Dakar is in tabletop these days. Maybe it may be a little bit right with the uh, the prevalence of online. Maybe Dakars in tabletop are becoming more popular. Have you ever had a Wood Elf game, Dimmy? <laughs> have you ever played a game as Wood Elf? I can't say I've ever seen you play Wood Elves, Dimmy. Three! <laughs> three games. <laughs> uh. A resident expert.
non zero two. <laughs> Mm. Ah, yeah, but you know, like tabletop, like you know, the top players, the the top, the top tables, the international tournaments that Dion Lord, Nord out frequents. <laughs> Two rolled snakes, and I rolled snakes, you know, Dimmy. <laughs> I rolled snakes in my game in the World Cup. I mean, I might not have won, you know, with, with without them, but I feel like they were very impactful. I never really liked the extreme dackers like this, but fair enough. I never, I never dwell on the past, nor key to, I don't know if I ever told you, uh, <laughs> in Era BV, I used to play in Era BV, and uh, I had a witch elf die one time, that was, uh, that was quite traumatic actually. I mean, yes, rolling snakes was the only possible way it is, but if, if I hadn't rolled those snakes, I don't know that I would have won, right? Like, that's the thing, it's not as if it was just like, you know, a 2 plus to score. And then I double wand it, and then it was a two plus score, and I double wand it. Like there were other rolls after I made those, but it was pretty unlucky to dodge twice with a ball carry and fail them both, wasn't it? <laughs> I probably would have done yes, kid. I probably would have done. Um, that was quite a witch. The best player Aero BB has ever seen. It's the best player I've ever seen. It was my favourite player. It was better than my strength five catcher. It really was. The best player ever. Okay, now he's got to try and trundle forward with the uh, tree, hasn't he? This is the problem. I don't like this deep tree because it means you've got to trundle forward with it, right? And then they can just go back a square as well, and then like two squares. Science fight. There was, there was, uh, there's been a few on fumble. Debog, Debog might be the best player ever, but. Honestly, that witch elf was incredible. It was really incredible. Yeah, I kind of hate the deep tree. I really do hate the deep tree. Genuinely. There's like 50-50 chance you don't have a player for the drive. Like, at least Elliot had it, you know, upfield. And it was there. And it was doing something. Like, stood there, right? And okay, you could punch it down. But, like, having it like this just seems like there's 50 50 chance it does nothing and you don't get a tree. It is, isn't it, Timmy? It is. I do love a good Dakar. I mean, this is a pretty team, isn't it? A good bit of Cyan here. We all love Cyan. A very pretty team. It is a mighty blow dancer, yeah. Not what I would do, but... <laughs> it's pronounced CM. Peak Blood Bowl.
Do you know what? I've got no idea what primary colours are, do me. <laughs> I've literally got no idea what primary colours are. Red, yellow and blue. you can have okay so cyan magenta and yellow are chromatic subtractive primaries <laughs> flip me This was rowdy, wasn't it? Trees off! <laughs> Trees off on one. I mean, you've got a mighty blow there, mighty blow. And you've got to block their guard. And you've got to run up behind your tree. Maybe you don't have to run up behind the tree yet. Okay, well, he's going to. <laughs> Honestly, to me, you didn't, you didn't need to tell us the, uh, the second line there. Magenta. Do you do a blockless block first? Because that's that makes you know whether you want to blitz the guard with a mighty blow or the mighty blow with a mighty blow. But it's a blockless block, so you might just want to blitz with the uh, with the mighty blow first anyway. Wow, Dimmy. How dare you? How dare you, Dimmy? Are you calling me a moron, Dimmy G? I mean, I definitely was that game. Now, I'm not saying Dion Lord's a moron, but <laughs> I feel like sending two players forward. So you're only defending with nine versus wood elves is incorrect. I'm gonna say I'm gonna call that as being absolutely unequivocally incorrect. Also the position of that catcher was incorrect, but Interesting. Thank you, Akenatep. That's much more useful than Dimmy just saying a silly thing. <laughs> okay, he's retreating a bit. The problem with retreating a bit means that um, the woodies will just be in range for free, right? How 
to saturate colours. Just uh, put water on them, Jimmy. <laughs> Hilarious. So the question is, do you blitz the guard and leave him miles behind? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or do you blitz him and leave him kind of tagged off and leave him tagged off and then abandon them both at a later moment in time? Interesting which way he'll go for. Interesting. Super interesting. He's going back. Gets the pow. Gets the stun. That guard is now completely out of the drive. Pretty nice. Tree blitz the mummy. I mean, the mummy could uh, the mummy could one d blitz the tree. What a strange drive, a strange Dakar defence from the Omlord. I like defending the Dakar is pretty difficult versus Woody's with Undead, so I can't criticise it too much, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be very good. Maybe, maybe he'll prove me wrong, but it really does seem like it's not a good defence at all. At all. Dion Lord refusing to be a bonus time burner. <laughs> Doesn't want his uh, mummy blitz there. <laughs> he needs to position the mummies to do a jump step. Yes. Yes, Dimmy, that's how to beat Wood Elves. Yes. Why doesn't everybody do that? Honestly, the tree blitz on the. Uh... Oh! He took root. But this is why I hate the deep tree, right? Because he just had to keep moving up, turn after turn after turn, getting nowhere. The tree bits on this guy was pretty good, right? Base there, and then you'd smash him out and base the mummy. Like, that was actually a really good thing. If, But, you know, obviously he doesn't want to rely on a tree blitz.
Well, I mean, that is the problem with a really deep tree. I mean, maybe something like here or something, right? So it can just go one, two, three, four. Like, maybe it's back here. Maybe even just back a bit. Like, back far enough for the mummy, you just couldn't hit it instantly. Take root is much worse than really stupid. It's uh, it just can't move for the rest of the half now. It's just stuck there. Doesn't lose its tackle zones or anything, but can't move for the rest of the half or until it took the rest of the drive. Sorry, the rest of the drive. The rest of the drive. He doesn't have many dodges, so th this one could try and dodge through. But um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one can do. <laughs> There we go. Yes, unless it's knocked down. So it's the rest of the half, probably, until a touchdown is scored or it's knocked over. It's probably the, the actual wording. through. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, this looks pretty horrible for the uh, undead. Four, well, three players completely irrelevant. I guess he can really run back. He can run back there, it's not too bad. He could even double rush at the end. So he's not totally relevant. This guy can be somewhat relevant. Five six one D. Well done, Dimmy. <laughs> what an eye for the game you have. <laughs> it's so obvious when you think about it. <laughs> Good thing with the sure hands. Doesn't get the knockdown. I, I maybe would have dodged the blocker outright to try and increase my chances. It's the pal. In fact, could have blocked the. Could have blocked the blocker free. Oh, you were gone for the mummy. He'd already moved the mummy, didn't he? The mummy was over there. It would have had to flaunt it go your way. Dion Ward, let's see if he does it. This is live. Oh! 
double rush. Outrageous. <laughs> you can tell with the 20 minute turns, yeah. Ooh. I think maybe they only needed one rush there, right? And maybe... Maybe you just needed one. Maybe you could have been here instead of here. This is pretty good though. Pretty good from Dion Lord. Yeah, I would have I would have followed with the mummy personally. But I guess then he could have just like one deed you right and then if he pals. You dunzo. Millions of rushes there from Dion Lord. Very very nice little turn, making like six rushes. Super interesting. Maybe got a little bit too tight, didn't he, Niagara? If he had another player over here, like another catcher, if he just left a catcher out here somewhere, could have maybe like dodged around and done something. Blitzing the mummy, yeah, yeah. One D blitz, two plus, and uh, run down the side. Maybe not. Seems a little bit last minute. Also, I hate doing it with a wrestler because what they're both down now is bad. Pretty lucky to get that. Honestly, probably you had to like do it with the the mighty blow dancer, right? Because if that had been a both down. I mean, okay, it's just a two plus to jump over, but it's it's annoying. Oof, rush. And he's gonna rush with a ball. And then dodge him to there. And then I guess. He catches. Do something as well. This isn't great, is it? This isn't great. Really could have done with an, another rush off this guy, but... Avoided the jummy mum, the jummy mum sack, the mummy jump sack. <laughs> this is not easy. I, I can't say anything better than a four for these catchers. for him as well, yeah. So it looks like we're gonna get oh, 2D on the ball, maybe? Yeah, maybe a 2D on the ball. I'm 
two, three, four, five, six, eight. Yeah, easy two D on the board. Easy. Over the ghoul. What's that been for? He could have come out on a two here, but where where could he have gone? But yeah, it was a four, it was everything was a four everywhere apart from just out there. You don't see the two D. This guy, and then this guy. No dodges, Timmy. No dodges. No dodges, come on. Three plus dodges are indeed impossible, yeah. You will find no argument. Yeah, this was the play. And then you block and you pow and then chain him away. Obviously it's not so good if you don't get the pow. But, um... In fact, what he should have done is move this ghoul first, up here. That's what he should have done. And then when he pushed this to there, he would have had the three for this guy to push and power him and uh, push him back to there and stuff. I think. Because now this is double dodging and uh, it's not good is it it's also demolished any kind of recovery so maybe he should have re-rolled that 3D I mean he definitely should have re-rolled that 3D not maybe he should have definitely should have re-rolled the 3D 100 million percent 100 million percent Daedal would love it. Oh, he's done it, he's done it. He hasn't all the power yet. He gets the pow! And he's got mighty blow instead of rubbish tackle. In the crowd, that's what you get for standing in Chunt's column. Oh, well, unfortunately for John Lord, he used all of his ghouls. Or maybe not unfortunately, like literally he just blocked this guy for almost no reason before he did that. And if he hadn't done that, he could have picked it up and had it on a bludger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. And defended, right? That was pretty weird. Oh, he's got this guy free. I'll pick it up. Did the dude have dodge? Yeah. Wow. So that's just a. Uh, it might not be a 2 plus, but what's this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, rush. Is there a... No, he didn't think there was a way. Oh. Makes a pick up. Oh, handoff instead of the rushes, because then obviously you can't die on the handoff. There we go. So. Oh, wow. How lucky is Dion Lord. <laughs> Both mummies. And Linos for Niagara. Um, 
there you go. So, you know, well done, Niagara. Uh, I feel like Dion Lord, you know, he's very passive, wasn't just walking back. Straight line. He did a good recovery after the breakthrough. This is a decent deck of defense, I guess. Maybe it will. I didn't like the deep tree deck. I don't like the deep tree deck at all. Um, but ultimately, the, on the sack turn, he had to keep ghouls available to react. That was his big mistake, wasn't it? He did roll all the rushes, yeah. Yes, exactly, Kooky Snipes. Yeah, that Dionlo's lucky because he's definitely going to have his both numbers for the second half, yeah. Actually, lucky to heat stroke them both. Huh. Treacherous trapdoor for one turn. Uh, so I guess he's not going to try the one turn here. He could have done right. He's got no rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, he's better off not trying the one turn. Yes, you can only hit stroke from the players on the pitch. So, it's absolutely fantastic for him to have both his mummies out. And also, no dancers out for Niagara. If Niagara's down a dancer, he's going to be very sad. Normally you'd foul here, right, as the undead, because you've got reserves. But the fact that there's heat means you might not foul. It's a plus six, isn't it? It's a plus six. Oh, he is going to foul. You'll do nothing. Right, what's out? Mighty Blow White and a zombie. Dodge Lineman and a normal Lineman. So not too terrible. But obviously bad for the elves because now they've only got 9 players. And the uh, Undead have still got 11. The question is, will the Omelord try to win? I don't think he will. I think he'll just try and get the draw here. Draw's good for both of them. I think I, I think they'll both think they're favoured to win the final match. <laughs> Timmy would go for the loss, as you did versus Sol, but you somehow failed to get the loss. <laughs> Against all odds. That's the problem in it with Blood Bowl. Most of the time, going for the win gives you the loss. Yeah, there's no overtime until the knockout stage. Until the third game of the knockout stage. Which might not happen. People could win this tournament without ever playing overtime. The whole thing. When it gets to the knockout stage, it's like a two-legged game. And if somebody's won the two legs, like a win and a draw, or two wins, they win. If the two-legged game is two draws or a win to either side, then they play a third game that has overtime. So I, I really like the idea. The problem is going to be scheduling three games, you know, in a week. Two people having that time the same, like, you know, especially like, uh, say, you know, Mr. Page, right, in Canada and stuff. It's going to be like, it might be pretty tricky for people to find the common times to play. I guess with so much on the line, they'll try harder than they would in a uh, in a league setting. A jummy mump sack. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a great system. I, when I heard it, I thought it was a fantastic system.
almost as fantastic as a Jummy Mump sack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it tickled you, Dimmy. It tickled me, the Jimmy Mumps. That. Yeah, just 2D this lad without any assists. And then he can 3D the Lino on the LOS. And then he can smash the tree. And this is why K Fog said, like, you know, Woody's are good at not losing, because even now with nine players, um, you can't try to beat them because you know you'll lose, right? They'll just two turn or whatever, or three turn or Oh, he didn't make it three dice on the OS. Wow, this guy this guy surely this guy should go up there in three D. Very strange. Doesn't matter, not never punished. I guess he would be he would lose the width, wouldn't he? But then this guy couldn't make up for the width, right? You'd go there, do the block, and then this guy then kicks out over here. Get some the pickup. Go for the tree jump sack. Yeah, he's just gonna play normally. Amazingly, only only Dimmy thinks jump sacks are good. <laughs> You can just play normally now, right? And then the undead will have to settle for a draw. At best for them. A draw at best. you still got the one turn chance. And uh, they might fail the score. It's a removal, glorious tree. Mm. Hello, wolf's meat. Um, yep, still in the grip stage. Second round. Most of the second round games have been played. There's about ten left. And they're all getting played tomorrow. <laughs> uh, or like some have been played tonight, and yeah, most it's all getting finished off tomorrow. The, the round two is finished tomorrow, including my round two game. Half two is the uh, first one, and then I'll do a million replays afterwards. And then on Sunday I'll do a uh, round two roundup. And get that video on YouTube. Ah, in fact, I won't be able to put it on YouTube, will I? Because all of the games will be... <laughs> all of the games will have to come out over the weekend on YouTube, right? Like on this Sunday. Yeah, the, the video will have to come out on the Monday. I'm going to have to publish, like, all ten videos or something on the Sunday. And then on the Monday, publish the video that I make on the s Sunday. Yeah. There's not going to be much on the Sunday. I don't think people will really schedule for like the Sunday with it being the first day possible to schedule. So that's going to be another crazy... The week ends on the Friday next time. So the Friday is going to be absolutely jam-packed. It's going to be a really packed week, actually. Next week's going to be pretty brutal. I 
I just hope I win my game tomorrow. That's I can't believe I drew. Glorious, glorious content. It's been very enjoyable, I think, the uh, World Championship. Yeah, it's it's kind of inevitable, right? Like, but yeah, like the first few get first few days, people don't schedule, so then they're naturally going to get all crammed, crammed in the later days. Doesn't get a bit of mighty blow. What a travesty! Things did happen, Dimmy. Yeah. That was Sean Bean, you know. He, he said, he said that. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember Skinner and Badil's fantasy football? Um, fantasy football league. <laughs> and then on that, he was talking about um, Golden Eye, and he, and then like Skinner was talking to him, and he said, "So you're like, you're like James Bond's mate in this," and he said, "Yeah," and then. And then, he got, and, he got, and then something happens. <laughs> and Skinner and Vadil, uh, you know, both pissed themselves laughing. It was like, well, you'd hope, you'd hope something happens in a film, but obviously he couldn't. He couldn't give away exactly what happened because it was pretty important, wasn't it? He was actually old Beanie was pretty important in the movie. Oh no, disaster. Disaster pushes. This is going to be hard to score, really. Like, now that he's outnumbered, the, the mummy's like holding its own against the trees. Like, the, sorry, the tree's holding its own against the mummies. The mummy might have to blitz him, right? The mummy might have to blitz the tree. Doesn't blitz this guy off. <laughs> He's not outnumbered, is he? Because of the because of the heat. All right, shut up, Timmy. <laughs> he did make a removal, though. You know, so it's one removal to none. So I was kind of right. Okay. <laughs> the Wood Elves are out, have them outnumbered nine to ten. <laughs> I mean, he's conserving players for, like, the rest of the half, right? The rest of the match. The, the, it's the, the games are resurrection, so there's no star player points or uh, deaths or anything. Gets a pow. Yeah, we can both be morons, Dimmy. Just different kinds of morons. You're a moron who thinks knobs are OP. I'm a moron who gets two players surf for no reason. And can't count. <laughs> oh, he put in the assist so he could hit the me and then not follow. No, he follows. Yeah, I guess yeah. I mean, he's got to put in two players to punch you, hasn't he? You can't really ignore it. Yeah, just keeping it screened. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard to get forward here. This might just be a win for Nayaga. Like he's nearly got him outnumbered <laughs> because there's two zombies stuck over here this mummy's dominated by the tree so 
you know, he's got to protect the ball with these few. And it's seven versus seven, right? And he's got to protect the ball. So. <laughs> See, Timmy, that's what I was going for, right? That's why I was confused how I lost that game after I was instantly two players up. Really weird. Really weird. I don't know how I lost. I hope I don't do that tomorrow. <laughs> just <laughs> just instantly get players served by the Troll Slayer. Oh, God. It's very tricky as well, because I think he wanted to cage here, right? But if he does, then he blocks and he gets the tree on the cage corner, so he can't really do that. Gotta eat this. Not really tempting to one D this, is it? Just dodge away. Keep it screened. take a bit of time because why not they're both fine for time bank actually aren't they maybe some people are like less experienced with the UI and stuff as well who've been struggling with the time limits And he really wants to have this line over here. But if he fails, he's just given up the space. So yeah, he has to put in the catcher there. Honestly, this, this guy could be here. Wouldn't hate it. Mm. Oh, it's a take. It's a blitz from the tree. That gets him away from the zombie mark. But this zombie can just base him now and then he can get his mummies free. But he's got to somehow bludgeon his way forward, hasn't he? Which is not easy. Tree dice gets a pal. And the removal. I was going to say, can you even apple that? Maybe, right? Yeah, it comes back on turn 14. I guess you have to. I mean, there's nothing else you can apple, is there? So yeah, you just you just instantly apple it because there's nothing else you're going to get to apple. I was thinking of I was thinking of all the time for a second. So yeah, instant apple. I 
I would have uh, personally tagged the tree like 10 hours ago. <laughs> Before you do the blitz, I know it's three dice, but oh, he's gonna rush the other one. Hmm. Don't like this. I mean, if that fails, you pretty much got to re-roll it, right? Because otherwise, he's gonna blitz the mummy and base the ball. And he could have just been basing him already, and then do the rush to base that guy. Seems a lot better. <laughs> the suspense, yeah. The suspense has been pretty good with the uh, the timers and the time bank and everything. There's been some good suspense. Yeah, this was the obvious place, wasn't it? Even though he's a dodge with dodger, um, he couldn't easily hit the mummy, so. Two dodges without dodge, he's got three rerolls though, so. And he can hold off on them because he can put this guy over there. And the dancer in the other one. All right, I need two for one now. There's no argument for not following up to constrict the space a little bit more. Turn fourteen. Gonna keep going. Blitz with that mummy. Move up behind. Foul the uh, catcher. There is no news, no. Uh, but I imagine it'll be a while, right? Because if you go off the order they're released on tabletop, there. Ways to go. Corn, Norse, Zons, Vamps, Gnomes, Chorfs, like six. So that's like nine months. No, why is it nine months? Twelve? No, eighteen months? Yeah. Why is it nine months? <laughs> eighteen months. Plus there's uh there's also ogres and snotlings. So maybe uh yeah. I don't think so, Frosty, because it's like if you think about it, yeah, I don't know anything here. But if you think about it logically, then like they'd give themselves the most amount of time to add the team, wouldn't they? Given off what's happened so far.
So I think we're going to be fouling this. I'm not fouling with a zombie though. I guess he's only a catcher, isn't he? And it's a 3D uphill because you've got two guard there. No, I mean, I don't mean next. Uh, Joey Black. I don't think Snotlings and Ogres would be next, but they could come sometime, right? Like before Chorfs. No. Fails. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Better have Jim Hot Tub Cam set up for next month when I hit the big seven zero months. Oh, glorious, thank you, Frosty. Nearly 15 who will be the pregnancies. Um, I don't know if it will be next month, Frosty. I don't know if it will be next month. Funnily enough, this time next month, I'll be in a... It, it's the final. It's the final and I'll be in Montpellier. So there you go. Literally the 8th of December is the final. 6th, 7th, 8th. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, Frosty. Absolutely glorious. What an absolute legend. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. No Jim and Dave or shower cam. There is a uh, zero guard spot here. So I wonder if... He'll go. Ah, oh, he hasn't got. He's got show hands, so he could just one D. Could just go for the one D. Can go from here, jump to here. So he could think about it. I I honestly don't hate the uh, three plus leap one D. But he doesn't go for it, he does get a power. <laughs> Probably got a tub. <laughs> they might have a tub there, but... No. They had like a pirate. They had like a pirate themed bar there. It was pretty cool. Roll this right with two rerolls. Next turn's the last turn. Oh no, but you've got the one turn chance. Oh well, he didn't reroll it and got KO'd. Pirate themed bar. There was a pirate themed bar. It was uh, next to the hotel. There was like a, a kind of shopping center kind of thing with you no know, like with uh, with some pubs. Wasn't really a shopping centre, but I don't know. <laughs> a a shop, a shopping area. I guess it was a shopping centre. Kind of. It was weird. It was a bit weird, but um, they did have pirate a pirate bar. We didn't go though. We didn't have time. I do like just the relentless mummy blitz every turn. Not enough people have done this in this competition, to be honest. Just smash forward with the mummies. Big stun. And he's bludgeoned his way forward. He should be standing where this point is. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he will be able to score with no rushes if he stood there. I just see no reason not to be stuck on that line. I mean, one fur further forward is too dangerous, probably. But he can probably be stood there. And then, um, you know, he can go back and still score. Oh, okay, so maybe we'll put... This guy, oh, this is really hard to stand further forward than here, I think.
He's going to try though, isn't he? He's going to try. He's going to stand there. So this ghoul to there and the mummy up here. Zombie dodge. Classic. The problem is, unless it's a POW, it's not really opening it, is it? Four. No, it's really not. I think maybe he should have gone in last turn for the, uh, the 1D, but... Now he can just try and screen, can't he? I, mean, I didn't think about this. I didn't think about just uh, how hard it is to actually beat Woodies. Because people don't try, dare try to beat you in normal time because they'll definitely lose. Errata, errata. You can't really get this guy back to screen, can you? Uh, maybe, more or less. You have to come up back this way. One, two, three, four, five, rush. You'd have like two, 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 and that just doesn't stop him. So this is really hard. He's probably got to go for an uphill, hasn't he? Yeah, so if you're going to go for the uphill this turn, you should have gone for the one day last turn, right? The one day last turn was way easier than this. Oh, can he get two assists on it? No, he can just get one, can't he? But he can push him with this hit. <laughs> Which gets him a one day. And gets the full pow! Oh my god. Disgusterous. Now, and if he hadn't followed the, <laughs> the catch, he could have done a jump and Dimmy would have been delighted. Yes, the catcher can just try and dodge all the way around. Dodge in, pick it up, dodge out, hand off to the tree man. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Uphill, uphill into one day and getting the knockdown was pretty lucky. Doing it without using a reroll as well. I guess he's thinking about uphilling the mummy for the scatter. It's pretty high risk of going wrong. Did he move the tree first? I feel like he just moved the tree two squares. If he did that, he could have done it last and rushed twice to get it right in. No, just trying to screen a bit as well. Fair enough. Well, I don't know how tricky this is. You can punch him. 
We can blitz him. Oh no, you gotta blitz him. You can block him, then he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's pretty tricky, isn't it? You've got to score with this guy. So you can just block this guy out of the way and then blitz this one, and then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. Yeah, pretty easy actually. Pretty easy. Funny enough, this this catcher who got away should probably have just stayed where he was, or like, you know, covered here somehow. Hmm, I don't. I like this a lot less. Oh, wait a minute, you can punch the catcher. Okay, no, this is fine. You can just punch the catcher and go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one rush. Okay, even easier. A million and one ways to do it, isn't there? You can even three dice this catcher. Doesn't need the power here. No, it doesn't. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Errata, errata. I was thinking it was facing the other way, and I was like, oh god, a push is terrible here. He hasn't moved, he hasn't filled the square, but he didn't need to fill any square, it was nothing, it was just going up. So yeah, it's really easy. He has got to do a blockless 2D, hasn't he? So you can make it a 3D, so then there's no need, so you just do the, you just do the 2D, yep. Yep. Gets the push, so it's a 3-2 to score. This guy should have been there, eh? <laughs> oh! Oh, diced. Oh, one in nine. Instant one in nine. Well, now you can't score. So, he could just end the turn, but you know, it's the World Cup probably having fun in that, isn't he? So can you uh, savour the victory? Not very long. There you go. Um, Nyaga gets the win versus Dion Lord. And congratulations to Nyaga. Commiserations, Dion Lord. And as you can see from the final games, the fact that um, Niagara is playing Mongloom, um, well, that means that Alan and Dion Lord are playing each other, so they can't both get six points. So Niagara is definitely 100% qualified um, on six points. If he gets at least a draw in his final match, he will win the group. So I'd say he's very likely to win the group there. Um, so there you go, big congrats to Niagara and uh, Dion Lord's got to put it all on the line in the last game in an undead mirror, very exciting. So there you go, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.